I'm ranking the top 250 individuals from the pre-colonial era to today what is now Canada, and today I'm looking at number 56, Thana del Thur. Thana del Thur was born sometime around 1697 in present-day northern Manitoba. A member of the Chippewa Nation, she was captured by the Cree around 1713. After spending a winter with the Cree, she escaped. She spent a year wandering in Cree territory before she found some goose hunters from the Hudson's Bay Company. Taken to York Factory, she met James Knight, a director with the HBC. Since Thanadal III could speak Cree, Chippewa, and English, he hired her as an interpreter. At the time, the Hudson's Bay Company wanted to begin trading with the Chippewa to access furs in their territory. To do that, he needed peace between the Cree and the Chippewa. On June 15, 1715, Thanadal III left with 150 Cree and William Stewart to reach the Chippewa and Cree. The journey was hard, and most of the Cree returned to York Factory. Thanadal Thur, Stewart, and a dozen Cree continued on. When the group found nine Chippewa killed in a recent Cree attack, the Cree would go no further, fearing retribution from the Chippewa. Thanadal Thur told them to wait ten days for her return. She then set off alone to find the Chippewa. She succeeded in finding them, and after ten days of giving speeches to the Chippewa, she was successful in convincing the Chippewa to meet with the Cree. She reached the Cree just as they were packing up to leave. She negotiated a truce between the Cree and the Chippewa, and then shared a peacemaking ceremony. The Cree, Stuart, and Chippewa, and Thanel del Thur then all returned to York Factory. Her successful peace treaty allowed the Hudson's Bay Company to expand into the north, and in 1717 they established a fort at present-day Churchill. Today, Thanel del Thur is considered the founder of Churchill. Sadly, on February 5, 1717, Thanel del Thur died due to a fever and disease. Her legacy of peace lived on and helped shape the history of the Hudson's Bay Company. If you enjoy Canadian history, then check out my podcast, Canadian History X, available on all podcast platforms.